I'm Robin. I'm Dan. Welcome to Infernum's Moon Knight Episode 1 review. That's what we'll call it. Sure, that's the title. Uh, this isn't something we'll usually do, but if you've watched the channel at all, even at one episode, you know that I have a slight fascination. Just an ever so slight one. With the boy you're seeing in front of you now. We watched this, the first episode, about three minutes ago. Together, and it was a slow process of our brains being scrambled. Dan, opinions? Any opinions? I'm a bit lost. <laughs> bit lost, but it's okay. Yeah, I'm sort of brain aneurysm, but it's yeah. fine. Okay, what's your opinion of the, sh- not of the show, but of this episode? Are you interested? Are you ready to carry on? Yes. Where's episode two? <laughs> yeah, give me it now. Which I'm glad because I was actually quite scared today of it being not a good show. That's what I've been scared of this entire time. That's why I've ne- I've never really said who I'm anticipating for it. You know, I've wanted it and I like it, but I was worried. And you know what? Yeah. I had no reason to be. It was good. We talked about this. This has to be. And by the way, for audience, the spoilers. Go watch it. We don't care. We need to rant about it for a good ten minutes. What was I saying? Can't even remember now. Yeah. Lost my brain. Lost my thoughts. Yeah, good show. Good show. And we talked about this. This is definitely the best first episode of a Disney Plus show. Hundred yeah. percent. I've been saying before, like with Hawkeye, that needed mm. a two episode premiere. Same with one division, yes. just to keep you interested. This and so should every other show needed one. This yeah. was just yeah. I'm. This I'm, was plenty. I'm in for it now. You know, I'm in. I'm ready. This is how you introduce a yeah. character. I've thought about it a little bit. Is there any problems you have with this first episode, though? Just to get them out the uh, way. The CG looked a bit funny when he had a broken jaw. <laughs> you, I I was picking up on more the car scene. Going the car down the road. Scene? Yes. The... I, was, I, was, I was too um, confused because he was flicking in and out of existence. Yeah, and I felt like I was as well. So I was waiting for the time when he was just going to be in a different car. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would be so sick. <laughs> he swaps into another car and then you just watch the like the cake van go off the edge of the road. Um, <laughs> yes. So the CGI was a, was a little bit lacking. The CGI on the suit didn't look bad. The monster didn't look bad. Conchu didn't look bad either. They looked great. Yeah. The jaw, all the budget. The yeah. jaw and the action scene, uh, which is kind but to of. To be fair, with the, the jaw being that messed up, well, I don't mind if it looks a bit fake. Yeah, I think that's mostly because you know what a jaw is meant to be like. Yeah. And your brain's and trying to autocorrect. So that... what Oscar Isaac's face is meant yeah. to look like. That, that does wasn't it. slightly worry me though for future episodes. That even episode one, the CGI doesn't look spectacular. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but at least the main things, like the monster and the costume yes, yes, and the suit, yes. looked fine. Uh, was there any other problems they I had? Good. A problem I did have was just towards the end. We never seen a good look at the monster. It was always in shadow. No. It was always in... Yeah, we, we seen him panic. Yeah, we seen his nail scrape along the floor, which I hate. Did his face coming to screen and, and I, then he was like ah. yeah which this is definitely this show is horror this is marvel horror it's not the yeah. scariest it's the most sci- the psychological plus yes. no marvel thing has ever been that high no. rated there was blood there was blood dan i seen it don't tell me i didn't see it i seen it i seen it on his hands yeah i wish we got one clear shot of what the monster looked like just to sort of add and i know in horror you're meant to hide the monster but because he was gone so quickly i can never get a good sense of what was chasing him like at all it did look like a really skinny monster yeah but it's like i got the face and then i don't know what was going on with the rest got him on his back yeah but other than that pretty good impressive (laughs) pretty good i'm impressed okay what are your thoughts on Stephen Grant as a character? Uh, I I don't know because I was stressed out with him. <laughs> what were you stressed out because he like why were you stressed? I out? was, I I like him just because I watched him 
panic and his life crumble around him. Yes. And he just grins. Yes, I will say this is probably the most relatable Marvel character we've had. Yeah. You know, just straight he's, off the bat, I understand. He's being funny, but it's just from pure panic. Yes. It's like cringe embarrassment funny. Where it's just. It's not false jokes, which Marvel yeah. love. Which I there I'll just say this is quite a funny episode. Yeah. There are some good hitting jokes. The middle finger was great. Yeah. Some of the dialogue banged, especially. Well done. Yeah. And then we didn't get to see any action. We seen a couple of fists. Yeah. Uh, a couple of punches, at the very end, and that was about it. Now, what's your opinion yeah. of that? Of only being with. Stephen for this first episode because you I think kn- it worked for the first episode you know we're gonna get um those flashbacks to what four, yeah we're gonna... that's the thing I've I'm... noticed in the Disney Plus shows episode 3 tends to be the most action heavy yeah possibly yeah what the only problem I have with that I'm currently right now in my thoughts on a fine line between I like it and I'm waiting for the next episode or you didn't give me enough. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. I'm sort of in yeah. the grey area, which I suppose they may be aiming for, for you to be questioning everything right now, because that would make sense. Yeah. But I'm kind of in this little middle ground. But the I psych- kind of like that they didn't show anything. It's like it showed the because this is meant to be an introduction to the yeah. character. Yeah. Obviously, someone like you knows the character like the back yes. of their hand. But, so, like the <laughs> I... general public. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I looked at the back of my hand, and as I did, I realized I was holding a Moon Knight action figure. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, my point is proven. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. But to like the general, like just MCU fans, yes, it's a great way to like explain the character. Definitely, and I think with this character, they did have to make him relatable, because otherwise, people not may not have stuck around. You know, yeah, like. We needed a relatable character with psychological elements because we had a character we couldn't relate to and was too outlandish that we couldn't connect with those psychological elements, you know, of being scared, of yeah. being embarrassed, of being this, being that. And, you, you know. Hmm. Now, as the person who knows Moon Knight, like the back of my hand, I'm a little bit yes. peeved. Well, I want him to be a taxi driver. Well, that's not uh, that guy, is it? No, Stephen Grant is the taxi driver. Jake oh. Lockley is... No, I can't remember. It's one of them. Jake Lockley's the taxi driver, isn't he? Yeah, Jake Lockley's the taxi driver. Stephen Grant is... A rich guy, isn't he? Yes. Which, yeah. Which, they've clearly done a more ground level. So I'm like, no, you're not Stephen, you're Jake. And why aren't you in a taxi? I get why they did it so they could have the museum set pieces and stuff and have it automatically relate to Egyptian mythology and culture and yeah. symbolism. Yeah, it looks like they kept Mark Spector the same. Yes. Mark Spector is very much. Well, he keeps being called the mercenary constant, constantly, which is very within yeah, we his didn't character. Really see him much. Which I would love to know what is his origin in this? Yeah. I he even, obviously he has the person who's called him thirty seven times. Yes. And it's been months since she's spoken to him. Yes. And she but thinks I wanna he's know, dead. Did was he born Stephen Grant or was he born Max Spector? I'm assuming I don't know, because he had this job and he seems like he's had that job for a while. Yeah, because you'd assume Stephen, because he's calling his mum, he this is his main what? Well, well, this plays funny with DID and that mental health issue. But yeah. obviously with DID, no one person is a core personality. But clearly in this, yeah. he is the guy who lives day to day. He's the one who walks around. He's the one who makes relationships, connections and stuff. And then it's only when he goes to sleep that another person wakes up. Yeah. I can see what, like, the mum speaking to him, like, that person like knows him and it's just yeah. like which by the way she never speaks to him every time no. he's on the phone he's doing a voicemail for his mum I don't reckon his mum exists I reckon his mum's dead yeah that could work cause if it's he doesn't know because he's yeah if Stephen is just a regular guy 
who at one point in his life came across Conchu or whatever, and then his personality broke. Sure. But I find what would be more interesting if, if he began as Max Spector and then Max Spector broke. Because then we could have the mercenary lifestyle, like him going to Egypt, him meet, uh, meeting, like, um, is it Bushwhacker? Bush? Bushman. There you oh, go. Bushman. Yeah. Bushman. You're meant to be the Moon Knight fan. You don't I get the keep getting right. confused Jesus. with that, and I really hate it. Well, I've got two villains with similar names. I prefer that origin, but clearly they're changing stuff in this show. Yeah. Because what I would personally have preferred, but I, I don't know whether I would have preferred it now, if we see Max, Max Spector as the hero for one season, and he him use alter egos, and then the second season, he breaks. But we've already started off with him breaking, and we don't have Max Spector. It's a very no, interesting show. But obviously, show. Mark Spector is the one who... Yes, yes, 100%. The only one who becomes Mizunai, obviously. Yes, which we haven't got any word of Jake Lockley. And it's obvious that... No. This, there's something else as well. Because... I think they're doing for free, because I said to you in the, their credits, there's free faces for Oscar Isaac. Yeah, which is fair, because we also have the Mr. Knight persona that we know is going to turn up and stuff. So maybe yeah. Mark turns into Moon Knight, um, Jake Lockley turns into Mr. Knight, you know? Stephen Grant just exists. Yes. Stephen Grant is the basic one, who he keeps getting called like a pussy by Conchu, which is quite funny. Conchu, yeah. He he acts like Venom. I kept going, Venom, Venom, Venom. Which maybe they were inspired by that, because, but definitely in the comics, in, um, in, not the old comics, but the earlier comics, or the earlier reboot of the modern Moon Knight incarnations. He definitely acted like that. Where he wasn't evil. He wasn't irritating. He was just annoying. And bugging Mac constantly. And bullying him. Yeah. Which this version yeah, definitely this... is. You know? Yeah, he's bullying Stephen. Yes. I don't know about Mark yet. We didn't really see their yeah. interaction. Which would definitely be in... he prefers Mark being out. Which would be interesting if... Conchu had different relationships with all three of them. Yeah. Like it would be if Stephen gets bullied, Mac worships him, and then Jake doesn't like Conchu. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. That would be a fun dynamic to play with. But I don't know if I like it. Like, <laughs> but that's coming from a Moon Knight fan, obviously. As without all of that information I know, this is a great first episode. Yeah, it's the best one. I think it's the one that's actually got me more, yes. most hooked. This has definitely given me Netflix vibes. Not yes. as gory, yes. not as... Just as Netflix has come to Disney, yeah. conveniently. Not as deep, I don't think. Because yeah. we're obviously dealing with psychological, but we're not dealing with harsher adult themes, unless we will. We yeah. never know in this show. Yeah, this is just the first episode. Exactly. Which I feel like has given you the theme or not the theme but the atmosphere you're going to get throughout which is great because it's psychological horror one of my like favorite genres yeah and this is a very from the just the first episode alone this is a very anti-superhero show for the first episode moon knight is in it for five seconds maybe he throws yeah, three right, yeah. punches and then walks towards the camera which we'll obviously probably get more later on yeah, like we've seen that in trailers. Yeah, yeah, we'll get loads later on, and I want to. Fair, the action we seen in this first episode was just all the moon we got in the first trailer. Exactly, yeah, and that's all I've so, watched was the first trailer. So I've gone into this mostly blind, other than you this still first haven't episode. Seen any more moon Knight. So. Yeah. Um. I do like this show. Yeah. I do. I want to watch the second episode the, immediately. This is definitely, unless it flops hard right at the end, I can yes. see this being the best one so far. I I have a sense already, touch wood, that this might be an anticlimactic show. It could be. And this is the one problem I have. What's your opinion on the villain? I love Ethan Hawke as an actor. He's great. The villain, we didn't really get much of him. We didn't get much. Well, we got as much as him as we did, like, Moon Knight. 
which is literally the name John of Ball the show. Him the Moon Knight, but we yeah, got exactly. Anything of him. We but, put glass in his shoes and he stressed me out. Yeah, it sets minute. up his goals clearly that he wants the amulet, whatever. He has the powers to judge people's sins. I believe that where Stephen hears Conchu, he hears Amit. Because he mentions that where it's like these voices yeah. in your head, um, never tireless, never whatever sort of thing, which is yeah. an interesting like dynamic. But then, yet again, it's like you take the hero, and you reverse it, and now it's a villain. Do you get know what I mean? Yeah. Which we've seen a lot. And the one problem I have with this, are we gonna? Do you think we're gonna get loads of monsters in this show? Um. Because other than action scenes with Max Spector, I feel like we need higher set pieces to live up to WandaVision and Hawkeye and even the Netflix, you know? Yeah. And now that we've got a Moon Knight who clearly has some sort of magical whatever going yeah, this, on. That's the first like monster type creature we've ever seen. Yeah. Like, Where it's like 15 years the MCU's been Yeah. Going. It's not an alien. It's no not from another realm. It's just a monster for now. But because Just Ethan Hawke isn't playing a traditional supervillain like all the other Marvel shows, if the yeah, he's just a cult villain, yes. cult leader. And I, I have a feeling this might be, funny enough to be ironic, the opposite of the Batman. I feel like this plot is going to be on the back foot the entire time. Yeah. You know, and it's going to be incredibly character driven. But then by that, I also need a good villain. You know? Yeah. Well, Which, uh, this one, first episode was obviously more focused on introducing yes. the character and what he is. Yes. Which I feel like they've done perfectly. And just give it hints. Yes. Of what's going on. I kind of I kind of wanted a second episode with it. Not just because I want to watch yeah. it really badly. I just don't feel like I have enough to grasp I the plot. I do think these... These Disney Plus shows, every single one. This is the one that's been the strongest with just one episode. Yeah. But they do all need two episode premieres. Like, yeah. Hawkeye did it, and it was great. Yeah. It got me invested straight away. Whew. When's post-credits happening? Uh, <laughs> I need Marvel I know, to put out, a like, a tweet just saying, post-credits start at this episode. Yeah. Yeah, because it's different for every show. Hawkeye didn't yeah. even have one. It had one in like episode five and then a dance sequence. It's going to make me lose my mind. I best not get a dance sequence in this one. <laughs> I, I do. Upset. As long as he does the Spider-Man 3 dance in the full Moon Knight outfit. Yeah. It's just Conchu doing it. Oh, that'd be sexy. Okay, so the, let's bring this together because this is the Amalgam Minute, yeah. not the Amalgam Hour, which is our other podcast go to a playlist. Hopefully it is somewhere. Overall, do you like this show? Yeah, I'm just hoping it's not going to be like a one division thing where it just ends in disappointment. Yeah, that's completely fair. Because because I was like this, like in the early episodes, I was so hooked. I was like, "What's going on?" And yes, yes. Especially with one division, where it was like it was so many mysteries set up that all led to, in my offense, yeah. practically nothing. That's a good point. This does feel very one division. Where all we have currently is the mystery of Stephen Grant, Max Spector, Moon Knight, and what's going yeah. on, which doesn't really work, at least for me, because I know the answer to that. You know, <laughs> yeah, well, as a comic you know, Moon reader, Moon I know the answer. In One Division, I'm like, I, I, I don't fucking know. I go, that, that's what, and yeah. then I actually get shocked for a good second. Quicksilver turns up, played by Evan Peters. Oh my god. But this show is currently just mystery, like One Division. So hopefully they can succeed a good ending. Hopefully they learn from their mistakes. Yes, but to be fair, this show could have been made out, made like on the go while it was with One Division, or at least written, you know. Yeah. So maybe they went back a couple more rewrites. Ah. Oh. Yeah. I want to. I want to watch the next episode. When's the uh, When's my fist still gonna come in? Oh, Conchu is Mephisto, question mark. Can't wait. Amit. Goldfish is Mephisto. Ethan Hawke is Mephisto. Moon Knight is By the Mephisto. way, it's 100% Max Spector accidentally killed that fish. Yes. And then he had to go out That's and buy a new one. He's like, oh, fuck. That's what you said yesterday. He accidentally killed the fish. Yeah. And I can't help but mention 
Yeah, b- uh, Layla Bouchamp. Yes. Good. I want yeah. to see them. I want to see side characters. I want to see the cafe he goes to. I want to see the homeless man. I want to see all of it. You know, I want to see him drive in a taxi. If I don't, I'll have a little cry. Driven ice cream van. It so might be too much. It might be interesting if Max Spector is the mercenary, Stephen Grant is the ordinary person, and Jake Lockley is still the taxi driver. We don't get the rich guy. Yeah. Because that kind of clashes with the whole Iron guys. Man. Yeah, exactly. And that would definitely take away from the Batman thing because then he wouldn't have a mansion and a butler, you know? Yeah. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah, Still I can see him like, because he usually does get referred to as Marvel's Batman. Yeah. No, he really isn't. I, That'd be a good way to... I'd go on a rant for another 10 minutes about the Moon Knight design in this show. I yeah. don't think it personally works, but that's because I love simplified Moon Knight, where he's just yeah. pure white, a logo, huge cape. I don't like the armored version. You didn't even see hardly any of it, so. Well, it's like I'm staring at a, a picture of him right now, oh, well, and I don't funny. like it. <laughs> but it's funny. wait till the last episode when Disney Plus gets good shoes. Yeah, good, good uh, outfits in the last episodes. Hopefully, hopefully. It grows on me, you know? And then I can get yeah. another Moon Knight action figure. <laughs> there you go. That's been our opinions. It's crazy. It's wild. Even though it's the first episode, we hope it sticks the landing. Now, we're not going to do this for every episode. We think we're going to do an episode one, and then maybe a mid-season, and then we'll do our typical Amalgam Hour podcast episode, reviewing the entire show, giving us all of your opinions, and seeing where we could go next in a season two whatever wish wish this show luck there you go so but if this gets popular whatever we'll make another one sure we will but i feel like it'll be the exact same thing next episode where it's going there's a lot of mystery here and i like it but where are you going you know yeah but we move i'd love to know other people's opinions about some of the things we talk like the cgi can't really be argued and then, but the whole connection to one division that might be able to, you know. Yeah. Moon Knight fans, every fan, whatever, like, subscribe, comment, and if you want to see Instagram, if you want to go to our Instagram, Infinite Underscore Comics, we do a lot of Moon Knight related art discussions. We follow literally every Moon Knight Instagram account out there, so go over there. We share a lot about it as well. Or you could go, go to infinumcomics.com where you could actually find a webcomic that was inspired by what? <gasps> Moon Knight, because I can't help myself. Pretty much. And that's it. And that's us from Infinum Comics. Thank you for listening.